I bet you spend way more time on editing your videos than you should. I haven't even seen your timeline, but I already know how to speed things up for you. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you about five most common mistakes newbies make in video editing and how to speed up the process. First mistake, editing videos in chunks. When you're just starting out in the editing world, doing it in chunks seems like the most logical choice. Edit the first 20 seconds, then the last 20 seconds, then maybe a minute in the middle and so on. I'm not criticizing anyone's approach. What works for me may not work for you and vice versa, but this approach has one major flaw, lack of consistency. When you edit your video in segments, you rob yourself of the feeling of progress. Your timeline stops filling up from the left to right and instead becomes a jumbled mess of random pieces. This can make evaluating your progress extremely challenging, which can lead to getting stuck in a loop of constant remaking and redoing the same pieces. Well, sure, sometimes the video structure allows for a non-linear editing approach. Sometimes the sequence is dictated by the footage you've shot and how it's organized. I've been there too. When reviewing B-rolls, I sometimes find a clip that would be perfect for the video. Placing such pieces where needed right away is a must, even if it slightly breaks the sequence, but it's better to avoid doing this. All these interesting moments can be cut out and moved to a video track on top, where you can create a special section of the timeline for these snippets. Try Try to edit your videos from start to finish in chronological order. Believe me, it's a real time saver. The second mistake almost every beginner editor makes is inconsistent style. And I'm not talking about the way the video was shot or its pacing. I'm talking about visual elements, transitions, text animations, intros, and animations within the video itself. When you first start editing, it's natural to want to make a video as flashy as possible. I've been there too. This urge is especially hard to resist when you open up Movavi Video Editor and see this endless variety of effects. The app offers hundreds of animations, transitions, text, tons of overlay effects, countless stickers and so on. There are so many different effects and animations and they all look so cool that you feel like a Pokemon master. You gotta catch them all. So what happens is beginner editors stub their videos full of effects, which along with inconsistent editing leads to a video Video with no style. Yes, I say in every video that you should try something new and experiment, but not many understand what this means. When you're creating your own channel and videos, you should strictly stick to a chosen style. If you've opted for minimalist animations and a black and white color scheme or effects, try to stick to that. The main goal is consistency. The viewer should know they're watching your video within just a few frames. You need to create your own video style that carries through from video to video with minor deviations. Oddly enough, the wide range of effects and content available in Movavi Video Editor is perfect for achieving this goal. The more content is available to you, the more options and paths you have to find your style and your visual language. There are many effects packs, all accessible for a very cost-effective subscription. Among these packs, you can find effects for any taste and type of video. Educational videos, gaming videos, children's videos, you can pick anything you like. Another mistake you often see from beginner editors is too much manual work. Sounds a bit odd, but let me explain. When you're editing a video, you're doing lots of tasks. Cutting videos, creating animations, and so on. Many newbies don't know how to use certain software features, turning simple effects and processes into complicated, energy-draining ones. For instance, cutting a ready-made video into pieces. Sometimes you need to use clips from someone else's video or even from your old video whose project wasn't saved. In such cases, beginners usually prefer to manually find the needed sections frame by frame. A more experienced editor will simply go to more tools and select scene detection. The software will automatically identify the video scenes and do the cutting in just a few seconds. What about animations? You might think the only way to create animations is to use keyframes, but a more experienced editor knows you can use built-in presets for simple animations. And Movavi has dozens of these. The same goes for things like background removal. Instead of looking for manual rotoscoping software, you can press one button, Movavi 
Audio Video Editor and the background will be automatically removed. And on top of all this, only a handful of people know about the tracking feature, where the software automatically attaches text or stickers to any object in the frame. So for the quickest and most efficient editing, remember to use smart features. Good thing Movavi Video Editor has a ton of them. And now the most interesting part. You can get everything you need to create awesome video projects easily with the brand new Movavi Video Suite 2024 annual plan. Hit the link below and grab your do-it-all video making bundle at a special 15% discount with promo code VLOGMAJOR. It's a limited time offer, so don't miss out. The next mistake, which is very easy to fix, is not knowing keyboard shortcuts. When you spend hours editing a video, you repeatedly do the same actions. You add files, delete files, save the project, cut clips, copy them. Video editing is all about repeating the same actions over and over, but the longer you edit and the more complex your project is, the more time you waste on unnecessary steps. In many cases, these steps can be simplified with keyboard shortcuts. Instead of digging through menus or clicking the mouse multiple times, you can just press a couple of keys and get the same result. On a per action basis, the time saved is small, just a few seconds. But since you repeat these actions often, those seconds add up quickly and turn into minutes, days even. For instance, to cut a video in Mobile Video Editor, you can drag the marker on the timeline to the right point and click the scissors. Another way is to choose the blade tool and cut with that. Both methods are fast and intuitive, but if you use the keyboard shortcut, Command B or Control B, you can cut even faster. You can find these shortcuts by clicking on Help, Keyboard Shortcuts. There are dozens of shortcuts, all easy to learn and get used to, so even your grandma will have no problem remembering them. Another pro tip, if you have a fancy mouse with programmable buttons, it's a great idea idea to assign some editing actions to these buttons for even faster editing. Spend a little time learning these keyboard shortcuts and you will definitely speed up your editing. And now we come to a not so obvious mistake, constantly re-watching your video. While editing, you likely replay your work over and over, made a few changes, watched the segment, couple more changes, watched again, created an interesting intro, re-watched, you get what I'm saying. How can such a straightforward action be a mistake? Actually, it can, but the reason is subtle. Sure, to edit a video well, you absolutely have to review it repeatedly, but not too often. Here's what usually happens. You add a text block, watch how it looks, then you change the font, color or size, watch again, then you add animation and watch yet again. It would be much wiser to add text and animation all at once and then review it. There is no need to break editing into lots of small stages that need reviewing. Try to work in bigger pieces. Add five transitions and several camera animations, then review them. Saw any mistakes, correct them, and move on without re-watching. This way, you can save a lot of time. Just think about it. If your video is 10 minutes long and you watch a minute after it changed, you can waste up to half an hour just in constant re-watching. Consider this, you're almost never satisfied with the final version of the video and keep coming back to make changes. So why not edit it as well as you can from the get-go and fix all mistakes afterwards. Reduce unnecessary actions, only then will you really speed up the editing process. In fact, with the right workflow, video editing can be super quick. Experienced editors can finish a 30-minute video in one day, which is very fast. You may not be that experienced yet, but if you listen to my tips, you will be able to edit much faster. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.